Hi folks, in this video I would like to talk to you about solutions to avoid waste in retail and honor the abundance of everything we have. Number one, talk to your manager. They usually have a reduce to clear policy. A couple of days before the item is about to expire, message your local Facebook groups or get some regular contacts who will save them. Example, I, I knew a lady who worked I knew a lady who loved kombuchas and waited for the unpopular ones to get close to expiry and then buy them for reduced prices. We even had a diary that, we, that we'd keep updated with things that were going out of date and start finding ways to sell them off before expiry. I connected with the homeless group volunteers who had a large freezer and helped rescue an owner hundreds of dollars worth of sandwiches, milks, flavored milks, sushis, and sweet bakery goods. I knew some broke uni students who would sometimes pay for their Uber to come and pick the same things up. One of my main connects was a milk delivery guy. So when he came with his delivery crates, I used to have the empty crates that he takes back filled with things for him and his large family and boy was he grateful. Number three, post in your local dumpster diving groups and you don't even have to put it in the bin. Use the mentioned crates and tell them that you'll keep them near the bins or somewhere they can pick it up. If you have a difficult manager and when they're not around, find the CCTV blind spots and place things there for the above mentioned connects to pick up the goods. I remember placing a few empty crates in the blind spots and pretended to take things to the bin in a trolley and just empty as much as I could in the crates as fast as I could so it just looked like I took the trolley to pick some other rubbish to throw it in the bin. And the guys at the workshop across the store would make sure the goods were honored. Number five. When I manage two stores, what I also used to do is keep an eye on future wastes and if a customer bought a certain amount, I would tell them they win a free insert item here. Number six, if this is something a lot of people can do, maybe you can even create a group, let your local neighborhood know that so and so stores have so and so goods that need rescuing. Once I rescued more than 3,000 worth of drinks like Gatorades, Cokes, etc. I'm very grateful for the manager at the store for letting me do a few trips to make them disappear. I thought I was going to have a heart attack from imagining it was all going to waste which would also mean most likely the bottles would, would not be recycled. Always keep an eye on shops and join your local dumpster diver, waste rescue, homeless support groups to know what's going on. Some people have got expensive makeup, protein powders, electronics, all sorts. Finally, talk to the stores you visit regularly to either let them know about waste or to have something in place to stop things going to landfill, which in turn pollutes the land and water that creates health issues for our future generations. I know we can all do it. Thanks.